Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through how to simplify expressions by combining like terms. Now remember, like terms are terms with the same variables to the same powers. When we combine like terms, we look for any like terms in the given algebraic expression and combine them into one term. By combining like terms, we can simplify an expression. That just means that we can rewrite the original expression in a simpler and easier way to understand and work with. Let's jump into number one where we have 9c plus 6d plus 5d plus 8c plus 2d. The first thing that we need to do is identify any like terms that we can combine. So are there any like terms that we can combine in this expression? Yes. Let's start with 9c and 8c. Both of those terms have the same variable to the same power. Both terms have the same variable of c to the same understood power of 1. So they are like terms. Remember, when we don't have an exponent attached to a variable, there is an understood exponent of 1. Something is to the power of 1. Anything to the power of 1 is just itself. Do we have any other like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have 6d, 5d, and 2d. All of those terms have the same variable of d to the same understood power of 1. So let's box those terms in in order to separate them from the other terms. Are there any other like terms that we can combine? No, all of the like terms have been identified. So what we can do now, we can rewrite this expression with the like terms next to each other. By rewriting this expression with all of the like terms next to each other, this will help us organize the expression. It will make combining like terms a little simpler. We have 9c plus 8c plus 6d plus 5d plus 2d. So now all of the like terms are next to each other and it's a little easier to see what we need to combine. So this is a strategy to keep in mind. Now do we have to do this step in order to combine like terms? No, but it can be helpful. Now we can combine like terms. Let's start with 9c and 8c. So we have 9c plus 8c. We need to add the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables. So we have 9 plus 8, which is 17. So we have 17c plus, and now we can combine these terms. So we have 6d plus 5d plus 2d. 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 2 is 13. So we have 13d. And this is our final simplified expression, 17c plus 13d. Now 17c plus 13d is equivalent to the original expression. We went from five total terms in the original expression and simplified it to two total terms by combining like terms. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative 10a plus 2ab plus 9a plus ab plus 9a minus 8. Let's start by identifying any like terms that we can combine. So do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have negative 10a and 9a and another 9a. All three of those terms have the same variable to the same power, the variable of a to the understood power of 1. Do we have any other like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have 2ab. Let's box these in in order to separate them. And then ab. Now this term right here, ab, does not have a coefficient written in front. Whenever we see this, there is an understood coefficient of 1. So this is 1ab. And we're able to write that one in as the coefficient. And it's helpful to do so when combining like terms. That way you know you need to combine that one. Are there any other like terms within this expression that we can combine? 
No, but we do have one more term, negative eight. So we have a constant term of negative eight. And I'll circle that term in order to separate it. Even though we don't have anything to combine it with, we still need to include it in the simplified expression. And that is negative eight. Remember, a term will take the sign that's in front of it. So we have negative eight and negative 10a within this expression. Now we can rewrite this expression with the like terms next to each other. We have negative 10a plus 9a plus 9a plus 2ab plus 1ab minus 8. Now we can combine like terms. Let's start with negative 10a plus 9a plus 9a. Negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1, plus 9 is 8, a positive 8. So we have 8a, and then plus 2ab plus 1ab. 2 plus 1 is 3, so we have 3ab. And then lastly, we have a negative 8, or minus 8 here. So 8a plus 3ab minus 8 is our final simplified expression. We went from six total terms in the original expression to three total terms in the simplified expression by combining like terms. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4, where we actually have the same exact expression, 4x squared minus 7 plus 3x minus 2x squared plus 3. We're going to go through this two slightly different ways. First, we will go through simplifying the expression as it currently is, and that's for number three. For number four, we're going to rewrite the expression so all of the terms are separated only by addition. We will talk more about that strategy once we get to number four. Let's start number three by identifying any like terms. So do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have 4x squared and negative 2x squared. Both of these terms have the same variable of x to the same power of 2. So 4x squared and negative 2x squared. Remember, a term takes the sign that's in front of it, so that's negative 2x squared. Do we have any other like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have two constant terms, negative 7 and 3. I'll box those terms in in order to separate them. And then lastly, we have 3x. We don't have any like terms to combine 3x with, but I will circle it in order to separate it from the other terms. Now we can rewrite this expression with the like terms next to each other. Remember, bring the sign that's in front of the term with it as you rewrite this expression. So we have 4x squared and then negative 2x squared is the like term. So this is going to be 4x squared minus 2x squared. Then we have plus 3x, and then our constant terms last. So we have minus 7, a negative 7, plus 3. Now we can combine like terms. We have 4x squared minus 2x squared, or you can think of this as combining 4x squared and negative 2x squared. However you want to think about it, you'll get the same thing either way. Let's subtract the coefficients. We have 4 minus 2, which gives us 2, or if you thought about it as 4 combined with negative 2, that gives us 2 as well. So this is 2x squared. Then we have plus 3x and then we can combine negative seven and three, positive three. So we have negative seven plus three. That gives us negative four. So our final simplified expression is two x squared plus three x minus four. We went from five total terms in the original expression to three total terms by combining like terms. 
Let's move on to number four, where we will take a look at a strategy we can use when we have subtraction or negatives involved in the expression. We're going to rewrite the original expression with only addition separating the terms. The benefit of having all terms separated only by addition is that it's a little simpler to identify all of the terms, especially any negative terms. It kind of organizes the expression and helps any negatives stand out. Now, do you have to use this strategy? No, but it can be helpful, so I wanted to at least go over it. So let's rewrite this expression with only addition separating the terms. We do this by adding the opposite, so change any subtraction to adding the opposite. Let's change this to addition, and then the opposite of positive 7 is negative 7, so add the opposite. Then let's add the opposite here as well, so the opposite of positive 2x squared is negative 2x squared. So let's rewrite this with those changes. So we have 4x squared plus negative 7 plus 3x plus negative 2x squared plus 3. So now all of the terms are separated only by addition. Now we can identify any like terms. We have 4x squared and negative 2x squared. Then we have negative 7 and 3 and then 3x. Now let's rewrite this expression with the like terms next to each other. So we have 4x squared plus negative 2x squared plus 3x plus negative 7 plus 3. Now we can combine like terms. We have 4x squared plus negative 2x squared, 4 plus negative 2 is 2, so we have 2x squared plus 3x plus negative 7 plus 3. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, so plus negative 4. Now this is correct, but we can clean this up a little bit, so to speak. We have a double sign. We are adding a negative, adding a negative 4. Adding a negative 4 is the same as subtracting 4. We are decreasing in value by 4. So we can rewrite this with just one sign. We don't need both of those signs. When we add a negative, that's the same as just subtracting a positive. So let's change this to subtracting 4. And again, getting rid of the double sign will make this a little simpler. It will clean it up. We can rewrite this as 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. And that's our final simplified expression. So you can see that we got the same exact simplified expression for number 3 and 4. Just slightly different strategies as far as organizing the expression to start. Now I do want to mention one last thing, and it's about writing out expressions. When we write an expression, we typically want any exponents first. If there are multiple exponents, write them from greatest to least. If we have the same exponent, go in ABC order. And then constant terms always come last. So for example, in number 1 we have the variables of C and D. Both are to the understood power of 1, so we go in ABC order. For number 2, we have A and AB. Everything here is to the understood power of 1, so we go in ABC order. A comes first, then AB, and then the constant term comes last. For numbers 3 and 4, we have X squared, so the greatest exponent, 2. Then we have the variable of X to the understood power of 1. And then lastly, we have the constant term. So something to keep in mind when you are writing expressions. So there you have it. There's how to simplify expressions by combining like terms. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.